Libra, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Go to my Facebook page, the Onyx Moon. Follow and like for a daily pick a card. Libra, I'm using Lover's Oracle for your Oracle message. Got cards here for a spirit, animal spirit guide and the Witch's Tarot for your tarot card message. Libra, there's no gender in tarot. This is something that could have already happened to you. This is something that could be happening to you now. Something that could happen to you in the future. I could be pulling on your sun sign of Libra. I could be pulling on your moon or rising or cross watcher. If none of that resonates, then it's just not your message. Come back next time and maybe I'll hit it out of the park then. But do let me know if I am resonating with you. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment so I know that I'm actually making sense. So what's your... What's your card? Cardinal. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. Do whatever is necessary to bring them back to, into equilibrium. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to be alone. Taurus got that. Taurus got that. Interesting. Somebody is codependent. Alrighty, Libra. Interesting how some of the cards are repeating. Ascended Masters, Archangels, Holy Spirit, Guides. Please give the collective with your replacement. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Clear, Accurate. Honest and Precise Rating. All right. Nine of Swords reversed. Well, somebody is not having there's a release of grief. Releasing the nightmares, the night tears, trying to get rest, letting it go. There's still doubt, there's still fear. But we're standing up, standing strong, putting our faith into, I don't know, ourselves, into our own strength, believing in ourselves. Creating balance in our life, knowing we can be determined, confident. I don't think this is a real. This is not a relationship reading. I think this is all about you. Creating balance within ourselves. That we can be determined, confident. Grab onto opportunities. Knowing that we still have work to do on ourselves, working on our shadow side, doing the work. And at the end, it's all worth it. Libra, this has nothing to do with another person. This is all about you. This could be for one individual person. I don't know if you're going through something, if you've lost someone, I'm sorry if you have. But that is what this is about. This is about letting go of that sorrow if someone has crossed over, there's still, there's still fear. But you're going to come back into yourself and rely on, and the only way you can do that is to rely on your own strength. I don't want to be alone. That is you. We have to, we have to realize that we can be alone. 
We have to like ourselves enough and, re and have enough strength within ourselves to know that we can be alone. Because whoever has crossed over, are, they're still with us. We're really not alone. And that is hard for me to be able to say because I lost someone in my life that I still cry about every day. So, hmm. this is this is a reading for me and I'm not a Libra. So, we're letting go of the grief. There is fear and there is doubt. And we all have it. We all have fears and we all have doubts. Absolutely. But when we get up, before we get up in the morning, we take that 10 minutes to have that attitude of gratitude that we're able to get up in the morning and that whoever has passed over, we were lucky enough that we had them and that they did love us and that they still love us. And we use our inner strength to be able to get up. And I said to someone not too long ago that for a long time, I was just a functioning depressive, just depressed, but I functioned and nobody knew. Nobody knew. Not a person on my, not a person in my family, nobody, nobody at work, nobody knew. I was just a functioning depressive. But I used my inner strength. And I had to be the one to bring balance back into my life. Nobody else could do it. Nobody could give it to me. No amount of leaning on a family member or a friend or anything. I had to bring that balance back into my life. Like I said, I cry every day. Every day. It gets easier. The tears are not as long. The grief doesn't go away. But you'll bring the balance back into your life. And you're going to be going to stand up and you're going to be confident and you're going to be determined. And you'll take a hold of opportunities and you won't be a functioning depressive. You won't you won't be that person anymore. And there's still shadow work to do within ourselves because we always constantly have work to do within ourselves. And to be able to acknowledge that is one giant step towards healing. And that's a victory. To know that you still have to do that work so that we are not just a functioning depressive, so that we can start to have some joy in life, even though we have lost someone that we really care about, that is absolutely a victory. Absolutely. I don't have to pull anything else. I don't have to give you any advice. I've just given you the advice. And Libra, this is your reading. I will put a trigger warning when I post this. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Give me a thumbs up if it resonates. It may only be for one Libra out of everybody. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon. Follow and like for a daily pick a card.